Hello all, welcome to study table. Our today's topic is leadership styles. Let's have a look on the styles menu. We have nine types of leadership styles here, which we will understand one by one. Okay. Before starting with leadership styles, firstly, let's get to know about leaders. Who is he? What he does and why? So the answer is, he is a person who takes the charge of some activity and gets the things done through people. We know leaders from so many titles like captain, in charge, monitor, manager, supervisor, head, guide, coach and many more like that. To be a good leader, one must have some good qualities like strong personality, intelligence, discipline, patience, proper judgment, and also some soft skills like communication, human, listening, administrative skills and all. Basically, he should have a full package to be a good leader. Now, if we talk about their styles, there are so many leadership researchers and scholars like Levin, Lewis, Robert, Daniel, Bruce, Bernard, and many more like that who had studied and contributed their valuable research into this field. According to all of them, leaders are just different by their styles. Now let's start with our main topic, leadership styles. Here we can see two sport persons, or we can say two great leaders of their sport, named Cricket, has equally zabardust fan following with so many records and achievements on their names. Same sport, same pitch, but different styles. One is known as cool captain and the other is more like an angry young man. Correct? We can define their leadership simple as eyes versus fire. Like that, we have more types of leadership styles in a row. So let's start with the first one, autocratic style. In this type of leadership, leader khud ko kisi raja se kam nahi samajhta. और राजा तो राजा है फैसला लेने वाला ऑर्डर्स देने वाला सजा सुनाने वाला हु नेवर लिसन टू एनी बडी डोंट वॉन्ट्स टू बी क्वेश्चन बट जस्ट वॉन्ट्स टू बी ओबेड हियर द किंग मीन्स लीडर बी लाइक माई लाइफ माई रूल्स प्लस योर लाइफ नो मैटर स्टिल माई रूल्स दिस इज वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट वन बेसिकली नाउ वी विल मूव फॉरवर्ड टू द नेक्स्ट वन ब्यूरोक्रेटिक स्टाइल हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू रिमेंबर दैट ड्रामा ऑफिस ऑफिस where the famous character of Musaddilal a common man struggles to get his work done at various government offices and always fails to get it done or else delayed this is how a bureaucratic style works mostly in government offices where they are more focused on rules and regulations files documentations and all this is more rigid one basically now the next is paternalistic style In this type of leadership leaders are respected and treated as father like a father only he takes decisions gives direction clear doubts solve problems scolds sometimes and always stands behind you at every situation here the relationship between superior and subordinates are very homely very informal this kind of leadership we mostly finds at joint hindu family concern where the leaders of the company known as karta is actually the head of the family and so gets treated the same okay now we'll move ahead to consultative style kisi bhi company mein jab bhi koi decision liya jata hai mostly all decisions directly or indirectly affects employees and their routines correct to criticism and oppositions aane ka khatra bhi sabse zyada kahan se hoga employees ki taraf se simple so to avoid that conflict better to ask them consultative leaders always consult his team before taking decisions he always listen to the ideas and suggestion of his subordinates and then take decisions accordingly our next style in a row is advanced level of this we can say is participative style here the leader not only consult his employee but also allows them to take 
part in decision making. Under this kind of leadership style, employees feel and consider themselves to be so important and valuable. Ultimately, they get motivated, which will push them ahead for better performance. So this is how this style works. Now we have laissez fair style. We can see this style from two angles. In one case, we can say here leader is very lazy. So he don't interfere much and rely on his employees totally. In second case, we can say here leaders shows trust and confidence on his employees. And for that's why he don't closely supervise or we can say he don't pressurize them. Whatever will be the case, the point is here leader let the employees free to do the work according to their convenience. This is a freestyle basically. Now I'll move to neurocratic style. Neurocrats are highly task oriented. They just want the work done at any cost. One more thing about neurocrats, he only wants the credit of success on his name. But in case of failure, he do just shift the blame and responsibilities to employees. I guess our dad also of same style, neurocrats. Wo bhi isi tarah behave karte hai na? Jab bache ne kuch achha kiya, to mera bacha, mera bacha. और जैसे ही कोई नुकसान कर दिया फॉरन ब्लेम शिफ्ट टू मॉम्स कि कैसे बच्चे हैं तुम्हारे क्या सिखाया है इन्हें एंड ऑल है ना दिस इज यूनिवर्सल इन नेचर लाइक कहानी हर घर की ऑल राइट विल मूव टूवर्ड्स सोशोक्रेटिक स्टाइल एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर इम्प्लॉयज आर जम्पिंग डांसिंग सेलिब्रेटिंग मीन्स दे आर वेरी मच हैप्पी करेक्ट दैट्स द ओनली मोटिव ऑफ सोशोक्रेटिक लीडरशिप This kind of leader always thinks for employees welfare first and then for the company. They basically runs the company like a social club where employees interests are primary and organization is secondary. Now we'll move towards our last style and most important one is situational style. As the name says only situational that means rather to stick on a single style leader adopt suitable styles according to the situation like for example he may adopt autocratic style when the work is needed on an urgent basis then he can go for consultative style when he may fears of opposition from employees so to avoid that consulting the employees well in advance is better similarly participative style he may adopt when he wants the creative ideas and opinions from employees so basically situational style is like jaisa des waisa base okay this style is the most professional and trending one we can say in today's competitive era where manager can't be rigid by sticking to one style he must be flexible in his move right so isi ke sath we conclude our leadership styles list i hope all you have understood clearly and have no doubts now we'll meet soon with a new concept new topic till then study tables wishes you all the very best as study make you smart you too makes your study smart thank you